So it has been a minute since I last did a Corona Chronicles and an update on how things are going on my end as I'm journeying through this pandemic moment. And one of the reasons I paused is because in the midst of this pandemic crisis moment, I feel like we are in the midst of a racial injustice crisis moment with a spotlight on anti-black racism in particular. And it has been, like for many of you, especially for black people out there, an extremely difficult moment. I have felt like it, it isn't right for me to be putting out selfies or videos about my experiences with Mr. Sweater Robe or my lack of desire to do a puzzle or even the spider infestation, which is a real infestation. Like I have a spider right here that I stare at all day long. I don't know where it is right now, by the way. I have very creatively named the spider Charlotte, so I don't know where Charlotte, haha, -ha, is right now. It just hasn't felt right to be putting out messages about my webinar outfits and Charlotte and more. And as someone who does equity, diversity, inclusion for a living, I have wanted this moment to be here where we are consistently, continuously talking about interrupting racism and and in this moment, uh, in particular, anti-black racism. And so I'm so grateful that the focus across social media has been on this really important topic. At the same time, I'm noticing that things feel like they're going back a little bit to normal uh, in the midst of this crisis, which is within the pandemic crisis. And I think I can see why that's happening. My heart still though wants to put an emphasis on making sure that we are interrupting all forms of marginalization and oppression. And so on a personal note, I'm, I'm kind of swinging and swaying between, do I tell you about Charlotte or do I tell you about how to fight racism? And so um, it's a struggle, a personal struggle, a professional struggle. And so I'm trying to grapple with that. But in this moment today, I just felt, um, I felt like reaching out and saying hi. And so if you're wondering why there's very little of me personally lately, that's why, because I continue to grieve and hurt and care deeply about wanting to do the social justice work that I do for a living and making that be the spotlight and focal point. But I love hearing from you, so please keep your messages coming. And if there's anything you want me to talk about or you wanna share, do that below or reach out across all the platforms. So thank you as well for all of your continued support during this time and, and let's continue to do better to interrupt racism and anti-black racism in particular. Thanks for watching.